because there's been another big story coming out of Karnataka, a massive controversy there. The Kopal District Administration in Congress rule Karnataka had earlier today ordered the removal of a lamppost, of a bunch of lampposts, adorned with Lord Hanuman's symbol, the mace. There you can see it in the middle of your screen, the mace is on top of these highly decorated lampposts. The lampposts line the streets of Gangavati Taluka, near the Anjanadri Hill, believed to be the birthplace of Lord Hanuman. The initial order was given after, according to various media reports, the Social Democratic Party of India, a political wing of the banned Islamist organization Popular Front of India, designated by the NIA, filed a complaint over the design of the lampposts. In its complaint, the SDPI cited concerns that these lamps could potentially incite communal tensions in the area. Subsequently, an order to remove the lampposts was issued on Wednesday by the district administration, which also ordered an action against the Karnataka Rural Infrastructure Development Corporation for its role in the installation. After the order was passed, Hindu groups raised an objection accusing the Congress state government of handing the Muslim community a veto power. The local administration then stayed their order in panic. Incidentally, the Hindu groups have said the lampposts were a symbol of cultural pride and that the removal undermined the religious and historical significance of the area. Similar lampposts have been installed in Uttar Pradesh's Ayodhya, where the Ram Temple was inaugurated in January this year. Let's pose a few basic questions here. Let me begin with you, Dr. Ranganathan. How do you view this? Tehseen Punar is also there with us. We also have with us the BJP national spokesperson and Abdul Razak Khan. But, doctor. Uh, Rahul, this is just one addition to this cornucopia of uh, instances where Congress has indulged in Hindu phobia. I'll come to that. But look at the logic of the Congress leader saying that, look, we are a secular country and these symbols exhibit communalism yeah. and therefore, therefore we are removing it. By that logic, should we remove the etching of iconic etching of Lord Ram, Goddess Sita and Lakshmana returning to Ayodhya that adorns our constitution? Should we bulldoze the Madhya Pradesh Legislative Assembly and even the Rashtrapati Bhavan because they are based on the Sanchi Stupa? Where <coughs> will this end? But let not one instance hide the rampant Hindu phobia of Congress because I want to give as many examples as I can because, you know, this is not me reinventing the wheel. I am stating the facts. Remember the statement by Congress leader Jarkholi recently that Hindu has a dirty meaning and Indians would be ashamed of it? Mm. And who did, by the way, Rahul Gandhi meet recently on his Bharat Jodo Yatra? Yes, the virulently anti-Hindu pastor George Punaya, who told him Jesus is the real God, not Shakti. And who did Rahul Gandhi recently shake hands with? Udaridi Stalin, the man who wants to eradicate Sanatan Dharma. Did Rahul Gandhi condemn Stalin's statement? No. <laughs> then there is Shivraj Patil who claimed Lord Krishna taught jihad to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. Recall how Congress leader Lavanya Balal made a Gaumutra jive same as Pulwama Bombard and an alleged post by Congress youth wing leader Shokit Ali called Hinduism a terrorist religion. Recently, a Goa Congress leader Jalmi termed Hindu god Parasurama a terrorist and a rapist. Congress mouthpiece National Herald routinely publishes Hindu phobic articles including one where it said Hindu epics were replete with misogyny and Me Too instances. Remember, Congress celebrates Tipu Jayanti, despite knowing he demolished hundreds of temples and converted and budget lakhs of Hindus. And who can forget the phrase saffron terror coined by the Congress and that it wanted to pass the communal violence bill where only the majority, i.e. the Hindus, would be held guilty in a communal riot? Remember how the Congress blamed the Hindu RSS for the 26-11 terror attack? Had Kasap not been caught alive, Rahul, Congress would have fortified this theory. Then there was Congress dispensation in 2004 that sacked a Hindu DD anchor to not display his Hindu sacred symbol Kalava. Remember how Congress leaders publicly butchered a calf just to mock Hindu sensibilities in Kerala? Recall how time and again the Congress derides and insults and denigrates Hindutva despite the fact that court Hindutva means the Indian culture and not merely the Hindu religion, unquote, yeah. is the famous conclusion of the Supreme Court 1995. Just 30 seconds, let me tell you of Babar. This would Sir, be very clear. In Nehru's cannot words, be spent so only on one religion. Babar was one of the most cultured and delightful we persons are, one could meet. He country. did not destroy as his ancestors did. He was a gallant knight. There was no sectarianism in Babar, no religious bigotry, unquote, from glimpses of world history by Nehru. Now let me tell you of Babar in Babar's words, quote, 
I was a wanderer for the sake of Islam and battled infidels and Hindus, hmm. determined to become a martyr. But thanks to Allah, I became a Ghazi. Babar's tomb, Rahul was visited by Nehru in 1959, Indra in 1968, Rajiv in 1976, and Rahul in 2005. None so, of them ever visited Ram Janamsthan. In fact, Nehru said he feared Hindu revivalism and stopped the yes, so, from attending the for concert. His what so, are we talking about here? So Congress let me tell you, Mr. Mr. Khan has woken up and suddenly said, right. oh, you see, the state cannot be indulging one religion. That's what he said. How can it be doing so that? Yes. No, one second. Now, let me tell you. When, when, when the state was buying free tickets to take you to Hajj, when Congress leaders and other so-called secular leaders, viewers, were hosting iftar parties at taxpayer money, no, they were not taking free tickets. They used to give subsidy. Right, subsidies. They used right. to give subsidy because hai, of large bookings. Hai, Even the government would benefit out of it. Taxpayer, hai, sir, big concession they were giving you. Sorry. Even you were paying 20% of your yes. ticket. Fine. Hai na, to uski you were, you were paying 20% of your Abhi ticket. Hai na, zabardas, subsidy zabardas. to revoke kar diya so gaya. Aap tab kaha the? Tab aapne bola tha ki let's revoke it. When you were asking for, Sir, hang on, no, no, one second, stay, no, no, one second, when you were asking for, hello, hello, when you were asking for, Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, when you were asking for, no, one second, let me tell you, when you were asking for, viewers, in a secular state, the power to be judged by your own personal laws, which are still around, tab aapko yaad nahi aaya, secularism. Sir, wo hamari apni zameen hai, nahin, wo sarkar se grant nahin hai, dekhe viewers, Look at this. When, 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 when in the name of religion, when in the name of religion they go around taking whole villages, when they go around taking whole villages in the name of religion under the guise of a waqf board, then they don't remember secularism. When, when large number of, no, no, one second, why are you shouting? Sir, when you come out shouting on the streets, Sartan se juda, Sartan se juda. Calm down, calm down. Relax, relax, relax calm down, sir. Hai. Relax, calm down. Calm down. When you've been given. Not the road that one second, relax, Temple, relax, sir. When you were given in compensation. One second, when you were given in compensation, I don't know why. But yes, okay, chalo, you were given land to build a massive masjid next to the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. Then you didn't think about secularism. About separation of church we from state. We don't want that. We said we don't you got want it. it. You got it. You're building. Did you go there? Did you go there? No, no. You got it. You got it right. No one was talking about secularism then. No one was talking about. We never asked when, for when permissions are taken, viewers. When permission and sometimes no permissions are taken to come out and pray on the streets and block roads. BJP then no one talks about secularism. Like this. No one Raul talks about secularism. Now, viewers. Look, Raul the Jeep fact of the matter is, Mr. Khan, the fact of the matter is, should you have personal you laws? Should you have personal laws, Mr. Khan? Should you have personal laws? Kertesi. Yes or no? Should you have personal Please. laws? Sir, courtesy, give me Should you have personal minute. laws? Explain. If you are so hung While up on secularism, should you have personal laws? Yes or no? A bus Should you, stop you don't want to answer the question. Just because this had Viewers, Islamic kind of structure. They will not answer the question. Sir, they demolished they it. They will not answer a question Later that I'm posing to this. them. You will go about what about re? No one is stopping you. Rahulji, today no it one is, is like stopping this. you. I'm asking you, should you have personal laws you in a secular Anand state? Had a list I'm asking you, sir, if you're such concerned about secularism, should you have your personal laws? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, we should have we our should own have. personal there laws. You go, viewers. Because we it's should a have secular our personal country, laws. We should have a veto. We should have a veto on the constitution. We should have a veto on personal laws. We should have a veto on constitution. But, my it's friends, if the Hindus seek, if the Hindus seek a little bit of decoration on a piece of holy land, this is not happening, viewers, out of context. This is not happening then on some bus stop quiet in some district kind of, of Karnataka, which is far removed is from the Janambhumi of Hanuman. Because Ji. it is built this on the is same happening on the Hanuman like the Janambhumi. Mysore Palace. Okay. Rahul. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Rahul, Rahul yeah. If, he, if he says we are in a secular country, please ask him should mosques also be controlled by the state as the Hindu temples are? Tab bolti band ho jayegi. 
Rahul yes. Karnataka has been Aray, the laboratory Hindu of Congress party's do. religious hypocrisy. The Karna Kar Karnataka has been the laboratory of Congress party's religious hypocrisy and Hindu persecution. And I will give you the most glaring example of it in a place called Melukot. There are still thousands of Brahmin families who don't celebrate Diwali because 245 years ago, Tipu Sultan unleashed bar barbarism of an unspeakable kind. But look at the way Congress leaders make a beeline. Look at the way they go out of the way we, to celebrate Tipu Jayanti, which falls barely okay. two or three weeks after Diwali every okay. year. Well, well, viewers, this best signifies, this best represents the okay. kind quickly. of religious Dr. Ranganathan, 30 seconds. We have that of, of the Dr. Dr. Ranganathan, 30 seconds. As if he did not kill Hindu. 30 seconds. Please allow me to operate the Anderson laser again. One second, doctor. 30 seconds, yes. Please allow me to operate the Anderson laser and ask my yeah. good friend Tuhitina why for 15 years under the BJP dispensation in Centre and Karnataka, the BJP was doling out 4% blanket reservations to Muslims. Yep. Why? So, fundamentally, viewers, you have a situation here where selectively the constitution is invoked in the name of secularism. But when you actually apply the test and you say, why should these privileges exist for a particular community? Why should they have a veto power on the constitution? Then there are no answers, viewers. I leave it at this.